and welcome to Sectors Up Close. I'm Elena Casas. Today we're talking fintech and my guest is Keith Gangle, Portfolio Manager at Gradient Investments. As cash and traditional credit cards give way to online shopping and buy now, pay later finance, investors are trying to capitalise on the digitalisation of how we spend our money. The established credit card giants Visa and Mastercard are moving into online payments using biometrics for security, while there is still huge potential for global growth since just 19.3% of the world's population owns a credit card. Credit card. Well, this is the ISE Mobile Payments Index. Its biggest constituents are PayPal, Visa, MasterCard and American Express. It's down 29.9% year-to-date, dragging behind the wider market. Much of that is down to the woes of PayPal. That company has lost over 50% this year. So, how can investors make a profit from shoppers' switch to plastic? Let's ask Keith Gangle, Portfolio Manager at Gradient Investments. Keith, hi, thanks for joining us. Now, as I was saying there, PayPal is perhaps the biggest player in the online space and it's had a terrible year, but I know that you're quite bullish on that stock, so explain to us why. Yeah, exactly. So, PayPal, the problem with PayPal is their execution issues. If you go back last several years, they're growing 30% plus. They started to slow the growth rate from 30% plus, which was outsized growth and wasn't very wasn't normalized. That went 30% went to 25, 25 went to 20, 20% went to teens. And along with that slowdown in growth, you had multiple compression. So it's actually down, like you said, 50% this year. If you go from the high, it's almost down 75%. But the most recent quarter, they actually had a beat and raise. Management seemed a lot more confident. They seemed to indicate that growth rate can get back to the high teens into the low 20%. So if they do that with the stock trading at a 17 multiple, we think that's a fantastic opportunity to own a high quality name that's a secular growth. We also seen a $2, uh, $2 billion uh, infusion by Elliott management team. So hopefully with their guidance, they can actually tighten up things on the execution side a little bit better. So we think it's a great opportunity by a high quality name that's actually starting to bottom here. And we think going forward, it'll do it better. But how do online-only payment companies like PayPal and Square compete with the giants Visa and MasterCard? Because the payment systems infrastructure that they have is a difficult space for startups to get into, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But they continue to innovate. And that's why we kind of like, not we like MasterCard and Visa, but we also like these startup players that actually have some innovation to bring to the table. So these startups on e-commerce, they allow business to do business to business easier. They allow business to consumer to uh, transact a lot easier and also consumer to consumer. One of the great innovations we saw the last couple of years has been digital wallets, right? We've seen digital wallets, which is Venmo, you think of, or Square's app, or Cash app by Square. These two apps are fantastic. They allow consumers to make payments back and forth to each other. If you look at younger demographics, they don't use cash anymore. They don't use checks. They use their mobile device or the digital wallet, which is a great place for like a PayPal to exceed with their Venmo app. But how are fintech companies going to cope in a recessionary environment where potentially consumers are spending a lot less? Yeah, that's a great question. Obviously, the stocks have been down this year. You mentioned they're actually worse than the overall S&P 500. But the reason I think they're down more is because people are worried about a recession or a slowdown. So these stocks will get hit, but I think they've already been hit on a potential slowdown. Whether we're going to be a soft landing or a hard landing, we don't know yet. But the stocks are telling us things are slowing down, so there's going to be less transactions. But the valuations are at historical lows, so we think it's a great opportunity opportunity to own high quality names that are trading at reasonable valuations. And when things turn turn around, these companies will do fantastically well going forward. Do you think that fintech startups like PayPal, but they're not the only ones, were too exposed to the crypto market that's crashed this year? They were a little bit, but they're not too exposed. And most of the their exposure is actually through actually storing of value. Of PayPal's got a system where they allow you to store it, send and receive. Bitcoin, but they don't actually transact. And that's the big bull case going forward. So if we actually start seeing uh, Bitcoin or crypto start to normalize and people start using it as a digital currency, we think fintech will be a fantastic play to wait to play that. Right now, we haven't seen that to be the case, but that could be in the next several years when we look forward. So we like the fact that these fintech companies are putting their toe in the water and looking at crypto as a way of another way of increasing the e-commerce business. How should investors best get exposure to this space then? Yeah, we tacked on a couple of names. We PayPal is one of our favorite names. We also like traditional names like MasterCard and Visa. These have been secular winners for the last three decades. We think that will continue going forward. 
Right now, these companies are trading at around low 20s multiple. The growth rates are anywhere from the high 20 or high teens, excuse me, to low 20%. So again, these have sold off on people's fears about a recession, but these are high quality names that you can get at great value going forward. We think their growth rates will continue to maintain that high teens to low 20%, which is fantastic. Another name we like here is Global Payments. Similar to PayPal, they allow merchants to transaction process a lot easier. This company is actually trading at a 10 times multiple for 14% growth. Organic growth is in the high single digits. So this is a fantastic opportun opportunity to own a high quality company at a lower valuation. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Keith Gangle, Portfolio Manager at Gradient Investments. Well, that's our look at the fintech sector. I'm Elena Casas, and this is Reuters. Music